Hey, I'm Jeff from Avid Max, and today we've got a bunch of the fish pond nets here, and we just wanted to spend a little bit of time, show you the different nets that they have, and maybe do a little bit of a review on each of them, help you figure out which one's best for you. So as you look at the nets, there's basically three different kinds of nets that they have. The first is their biggest one here. It is their boat net. They have a regular length boat net, as well as a mid-length boat net. And one of the things that you're gonna notice straight off about these is how much bigger the basket is than in some of their other nets. And that simply is the name implies so that as you're out there on a boat, maybe it's a little bit harder to scoop that fish up. Uh, you get a little bit bigger basket there in order to get it. And you don't have to worry as much about whether the net's too big for you as you're out there on a boat as you would if you're just wandering around in a river. The next kind of category of nets that they have is their wading nets here. And as you can tell, the basket is a lot smaller. These come in a variety of different lengths. And really one of the reasons they come in so many different lengths is just to accommodate what's most comfortable for you as you're out there hiking around in the river. These are made out of a composite fiberglass carbon fiber material. So they're gonna be pretty durable and are actually well suited to be used as a wading staff as well. They even sell a, a cap that can go on the end of these right here, just to kind of help keep the end of the net in good shape. Not gonna get any scratches or nicks on it if you've got that little cap there. But then you're able to use these as a waiting staff. You can walk around with it. They've got rulers on the handles to help show everybody at home that the fish really was as big as you said it was gonna be. And there's a couple of them that even come in their new design here. This is their River Armor series. So not only is it the carbon fiber fiberglass composite material, but it is also then wrapped in Kevlar, which just adds kind of another layer of durability to it as well. The smallest of their nets is then their hand nets. As you can see here, these are different in the fact that they even just come with a lanyard and you're really not gonna be using these as an extra kind of point of contact so that you don't fall down in the river. They're, they're way too small for that, but they're great for those times where you don't wanna be taking a lot of gear around with you or maybe you just don't have room for a ton of gear. You'll have these much smaller nets here that can accommodate that type of day out on the river as well. Like I said, all of these are going to be the composite of a carbon fiber fiberglass material, which means they're not only going to be really light, but they're also going to float. So if you happen to drop it in the lake, it's just going to stay right there in front of you. Or even if you drop it in the river, it's going to float right beside you. And from this is their mid-length boat net. From this size down, they all have kind of a lanyard loop at the bottom and then showed you those hand nets also even come with the lanyard. Also on the handles of all of these nets, there is their river coat painting, which is really nice. It is just designed to provide a, a nice grip on the handle, even when it gets wet. So you're not gonna have to worry about these sliding out of your hand if obviously the, the handle is covered in water, which let's be honest, they pretty much always should be as you're out there in the river. All in all, it's a pretty nice lineup of nets. They come in a variety of different colors and they also have some different baskets. So on the River Armor one, it is a black basket and on the rest of them, it is a clear white basket. But if you need a, a bigger basket or you just wanted a different color, you can also order those separately from the nets. And it's real nice the way that they're able to interchange those so that you can replace and, and get whichever net you want on here. The other nice thing about these nets is they're all made out of this rubber material. And if you're still using kind of one of those old school nets, it's definitely time to upgrade. The rubber nets are really nice for a couple of different reasons, but the main reason is that they're just a snag-free material. So that's gonna help in two ways. Not only is the fish not gonna get caught in that, you won't worry about its fins or anything kind of rubbing along the side, and, and grabbing against it. But also you're not gonna be getting your hook snagged in these nearly as easily as you would in kind of one of those old school nets. So we're just gonna kind of go through and talk about each one of them individually, show you kind of some of the different colors that they come in as well as a couple of features about each. We'll start here with their biggest net. This is their full length boat net. As you can see here, it comes in the drift camo color as well as in the original color. 
This net is 55 inches tall. And as you can see here, it's got a ruler that starts uh, here on the handle and goes all the way up to here and is, is really just kind of their, their biggest net. So if you're looking for one that, that's gonna be able to, to scoop up anything for you, this is gonna be a great one. This here is the El Jefe Grande net. This is the tallest of their wading nets. It comes in at 52 inches tall. So for me, it feels like it might just be a little bit too tall. Um, I'm not sure that I'd really be able to use it as good as a wading staff just because of how tall that it is. But for some of you out there that are, be, that are a little bit taller, this might be a great net for you. Next is the guide net here. I think this is a pretty good height, maybe still a little bit tall for me, but that would probably just depend on personal preference of where you'd like to have it at. So this one is 48 inches tall and the guide net here is only in the original color. This one here is the El Jefe net, which uh, just because of the name, me being Jeff, I might decide that I wanna go with this one. But this one comes in a couple of different colors. It's got the drift camo color, as well as the original color. It's got one of the bigger baskets of the wading nets and is about 42 inches tall. This one here is their mid-length net. And at least for me, I think this one is right about at the perfect size. It is 37 inches tall. And this one comes in a bunch of different colors. So you can get it in the original color, you can get it in tailwater, drift camo, or this is also one of the ones that you can get in the river armor color. And again, the river armor is gonna have all the same features as the regular nets, but it's also gonna be wrapped in a layer of Kevlar, as well as have a black basket here instead of the clear one. This here is their Emerger net, and it is one of the River Armor series, and it really does just look pretty awesome the way that carbon fiber is wrapped around it here. So this one is, at least for me, maybe just a little bit too short for what I would say is doable as a waiting staff. I think a lot of the rivers that I would need a wading stick in I might actually have my hand in the water all the way if I'm trying to use this as a wading staff. This one comes in at 32 inches. It's available in the original color, in the brown trout color, or as you can see here, in this awesome river armor color as well. From there, we get into the hand nets. So these ones aren't gonna have a ruler on the handle and they're really not gonna work very well for a waiting staff at all. This one is 26 inches long. It's just called their hand net and it comes in both the original color and this one, which is pretty nice, and it's called the tailwater color. Finally, we have the smallest of their nets. This is the native net and is a, is a great net if you're really looking for the net that isn't gonna take up hardly any room at all. All of the nets that they have here are pretty light, but when you pick this one up, you can just tell it's made out of a material that is is really, really lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's gonna weigh you down, weigh your pack down at all. You're gonna be able to clip this onto you know, the back of a backpack, the back of your vest, whatever you use. Let it hang there all day and you probably won't even notice that it's there. This one is also 26 inches long. It comes in the original color as well as a native color. All in all, there is a great lineup of nets here and I'm sure you're gonna be able to find the one that you want. You might have to go through a little bit and think about what kind of fishing you do as well as where you're gonna be. If you don't spend a lot of time in those rivers that are moving a little faster or a little deeper that you have to worry about using a wading staff for, maybe one of their two smaller hand nets would be great for you. For me, I think that the mid-length net here is probably, at least for me, one of the best all-around nets. It's at a decent height that I'll be able to use it in the river as a little bit of a waiting staff, especially if I were to get that end cap to throw on the end there. But as I, I hold it here, it still is pretty lightweight. It's got a decent sized basket to it and would just be a, a great option for me. Of course, if you're one of the guys that spends a lot of time in a boat as well, they've got their mid-length as well as their regular size boat net. And if you uh, are a little bit taller or you just find yourself struggling a little bit sometimes to get the net far enough out there in order to be able to scoop up a fish, um, this El Jefe Grande net is pretty nice as well in that not only is it tall, but it's got a really big basket to it as well. All in all, as you look at it, with all the great features that all these nets have, you're going to be really hard pressed to make a bad decision going for one. Hey, if you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as add any of your comments or suggestions down below. 
For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.